I just got the craziest voicemail. I'm down in New York City right now, but I need to drive to Pittsfield, Massachusetts, like right now. I don't know where I'm gonna sleep. I'm probably gonna have to stealth tonight. So I'm about to do something tonight that I don't recommend. I really try to avoid. And that is to stealth park in a big box store, a Walmart specifically. So one thing I notice is there's some vans already here. That might be a good thing. That might mean nothing. They might be leaving soon. Walmart is technically open for 10 more minutes. I'm gonna go in and patronize the business, get some groceries and stuff while I still have time. See, there are vans here, but it's still fairly early. It's only around 10.30. And I don't see anyone in those vans. No lights, no nothing. They could be stealthing really good, or they could just be working inside and about to leave soon, so I'm not sure. So I've just strolled around the parking lot, kind of get my bearings on the situation here. I don't see any security presence, don't see anything that would make me kind of worry, but you know, sometimes they go around like every hour or so, or they don't start patrolling until after midnight. That might happen, I'm not sure. I'm gonna jump in the van, I'm gonna bundle up the windows, make sure I'm nice and in stealth mode, and then I'll take the camera inside with me. You guys are gonna spend the night with me. If I get the tap, I'll be recording it. All right, folks, so my windows are blacked out. I'm gonna try to be quiet. I'm gonna change, take my contacts out, try to get some dinner going, because I haven't eaten yet. It's not even midnight yet. My dinner tonight, folks, is just in the video chicken salad, no cooking, no nothing. Alrighty. So this is my emergency light for when I'm really stealthing. It's just a puck light, just enough to give me light to eat over. As you can see, otherwise it's completely dark in here. All right, guys, I just had the fastest, most uncomfortable dinner in the world. But I'm about to turn off the lights here and I'll do one last peek at the windows. So let's pull back the curtain and see what we got. No one in these lots up ahead. No security presence, no nothing. Over here, yeah, those two vans are still there. They must be spending the night. Over on this side, it's just a big pile of mulch. I'm hoping no trucks come during the night. I do need to get to sleep. I am actually bringing my car to Johnson Ford first thing in the morning, 7 a.m. So I have about five hours I can sleep right now. It's time to turn out the lights. Please let me not get a tap in the night because I am dead tired. All right, everyone, I got some sleep there, but it's around 2.30 in the morning. I just heard a bunch of commotion behind my van outside so let's see what we got out there look at all the cars well there's two cars anyway yeah i don't see anything i'm not sure what that noise was have people who just work all night in that walmart stocking it and stuff why else would there be regular cars here at 2 30 in the morning all right, folks, I don't see anything, so I'm going back to bed. All right, everyone, it's 6 a.m. Let's take a look at what the situation is outside. If I can squeeze my camera in here. Oh, the little van is gone. The big guy's still there. Cars have started to move over to the grocery store, which is open now. I still need to change and shower, not shower, but wash up and brush my teeth and all of that stuff. But I am gonna move away from this spot. I'm gonna go over to the grocery store and do all that. Walmart served its purpose. Now it's time to move on. There's a big rig sleeping right there. And voila, made it through the night. No problems, everyone. Today's gonna be an exciting day. I think I am actually getting my wiper motor fixed. Believe it or not, after I put that video up about the wiper thing not failing and not being able to get an inspection sticker, Ford reached out to me and they said, hey, guess what? 
we have a part for you. We can fix it tomorrow. What are the chances of that? Did they see my video? I don't, I don't understand. But I'm gonna take my car to Ford at 7.30 as soon as they open. So the car has been dropped off at the Ford dealership. Fingers crossed. He confirmed they had the part in. I don't know how this all happened so quickly. I've been waiting three months. So here's the deal with Ford. They fixed the wiper motor, but they couldn't fix the rain sensor, so it won't start wiping automatically. They offered to do the inspection right there. I said no. Plus, if I wait a day, I can get the May sticker. So I need to drive to Boston. I need to be in my office one day a week, which is tomorrow. I'll get that out of the way. When I get out of there, I'll get my inspection sticker. Hopefully they don't, they don't care about the rain sensor crap. So here's a real test. Can I get the sticker? Can I get this taken care of? Even though the wiper sensor still doesn't work. Don't believe that this long ordeal is finally behind me. They passed me. They didn't care about that windshield wiper crap. Man, stupid freaking Ford. Now I can plan my summer road trip. I can move on with my life. Today, I have a really cool plan though. Meeting up with a friend of mine named Benjamin, has his own YouTube channel. We're gonna be camping tonight in Western Mass in the Berkshires. I'm gonna be heading out there now. I'll do some grocery shopping on the way. It'll also be the first time that I cook for the season. I have not cooked yet since like November of last year. I don't cook in the winter, it's too much moisture. Should be a blast, but for now, Let's get this show on the road. I'm on the Swift River, which is the border of the Belcher Town and Palmer, Massachusetts town lines. There's an old railroad here, old abandoned tracks of a wood made trellis thing that went over this river. It was an extension called the Central Massachusetts Railroad that no longer exists. But on the way, you can walk along the Swift River right here, which is really pretty. There are people fishing. This was an old industrial revolution river. There were a lot of dams and old bridges that crossed it that are no longer here. Well, I mean, their foundations are here. Now up this way, you can see the ruins of the old mill. And this, I believe right here, is the old train track abutment. So if we go up this way, a ramp should start to form. There, you see I'm down on the lower trail, but right here, this, is the start of the trellis bridge, which gets higher and higher and just goes off into the woods. So I'm gonna get back up to that higher section and we're gonna start going to the other end of that train trestle bridge and try to walk it this way. Here, see, look at that. This is the other end. So you can kind of walk it and it starts to just veer into the woods. This is actually almost as wide as the sidewalk. It's not as narrow as it looks in the video because of my wide angle. But as you can see, you get progressively higher and higher off the ground walking the old bridge. But the way it just kind of goes into the woods right up ahead is my favorite part. So I'm gonna cut across to the other beam because that one is getting a little crowded. You can see it's kind of overgrown right now. But it's almost safer that way because if you fall, you can just grab a branch. They're like right next to you at this point. Up ahead, it starts to get so dense that not only can you not fall out, you can't proceed. So I'm gonna turn around here. Kind of a really cool spot in central Massachusetts. I discovered it just driving by. It's hard to find information about it. There is a parking space only big enough for like two cars at a time. So if you're gonna come here, you know, do at a weird hour. But this place is just icing on the cake for today's drive. I told you guys I'm meeting up my friend Benjamin. We've got a campground for the night in Berkshire County called Bonnie Bray Campground. It's both of our first nights there. And I think it's the first Friday night that this place is open. So here we are, we're at Bonnie Bray Campground in Lanesboro tonight, guys. Like I said, I'm meeting my friend Ben. He has a big YouTube channel, much bigger than mine. We're gonna do a Q&A session together tonight. 
I'm not gonna put that here. I think this is a great place to end the video. Just the fact that I've gotten the inspection done, the car is good for another year, all that paperwork that gave me a headache, and now I can plan my summer. Anyway, stick around for this next video. This Q&A with this other van dweller named Ben, this is gonna be really juicy stuff. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video.